Is this a good decision? My arm looks crazy. I just don't know how to avoid that. So messed up. Um, hey guys, what up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we are filming a very exciting video. We are dyeing my hair. We'll see what it comes out as. I'm happy with black. I'm happy with dark brown. I am doing like one tone, so, well actually, I'll show you what I got and explain a little bit further, but I have had dark hair before. I also used to bleach my own hair. I just refused to pay like $600 to get my hair dyed in this economy. So I'm using a demi-permanent color. So it's not like fully, fully permanent, um, but it will last and kind of fade out gradually over probably like the next six months or so. Let's go buy some hair dye. I'm so excited. It could turn out, you know, not perfect, but I've never been that attached to my hair. As long as it doesn't fall out, I'm pretty happy. Okay, I definitely need an old towel. And I think this one is the one that I want. Because it has bleach on it already. Ah, oh, they're all falling. Oh, great, okay. That's a later problem. I'm also gonna grab this other bleach towel and put one on the ground and one Maybe around my neck or just next to me in case I need it. God. Okay. Okay, so I think this is the vibe. Set this here. I might drape this one like over this somehow so I'm really protecting it. Okay, so I just want to give you a little materials overview. I do have some gloves, so I'm going to put those on here soon. I have this brush to apply. And the brush has like... A tip so that'll help with like parting my hair and moving it around. Uh, I'm using the Wella Color Charm color, the Demi Permanent Cream Hair Color. So that is what I'm using and I'm using color 4N and 3N, light neutral brown and medium neutral brown. So I'm gonna probably mix these together. I also have the Volume 10 Cream Developer here as well, so if I wanna mix, I can mix just all of this together, but I don't know if it'll all fit in this bowl that I got. So I'm like debating how I wanna do this if I wanna do. I also have a few different clips just in case I need them, and then hair ties, and then I'm gonna brush my hair out before I put the dye in. Okay, I'm gonna start mixing up the color. I don't know why this part is making me like the most nervous. I did read the directions and just confirmed what she told me at the store. Um, I did go to Sally's to get all this stuff. I don't really trust box dyes. I wanna use like the real stuff, and all of this was like $40, so, I think it will be worth it. I have two colors here. I'm gonna use half of each bottle and then half of this. Okay, here goes nothing, I'm scared. Good old hair dye. Man, I haven't dyed my hair in so long, I'm excited. And yes, I'm gonna squeeze out every last bit of it. Okay, is that half? Oh, nice, it actually has a little measurement on the side here, that's really helpful, okay. So that is one ounce, so that's half. And then half of this to the one ounce mark. It doesn't smell that bad. I think the developer is normally what smells though, so. A little bit more. Okay, so I have my color in there. Put my gloves on. I kind of regret having my nails done right now, but it is what it is. Now, does this have a little measurement? No. So I'm gonna have to eyeball this. Okay, a bit more, a bit more there. Yes, okay. You know, I think, I think more will fit in here if I just mix up all the color now. No, I'll just start with this. I'm gonna start with this, see where it gets me. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna need more. I already can tell, but. If I'm looking this way, it's because my mirror is right here and the camera's here, just FYI. 
gonna brush through my hair one last time while it's this color. Oh, should I take my jewelry off? Maybe I should. At least take my necklace and earrings off just so I don't dye them by accident. So let me, okay, I need to take my gloves off for a second, which is great because my hands are already sweaty in there. Who let me do this? Me, because I'm a 25 year old woman and I make my own decisions. Is this a good decision? I think it is. I think it's gonna be totally fine. See, you can kind of see my hair in this light a little bit more like it's not like a dark brown. And that's really what I'm going for. Or like a darker, even black. Like if my hair's black, my hair's been black before and I kind of love it. So I'm very open <laughs> to what's going on. Hold on, intermission while I fix these gloves. So now we got a section. I'm gonna start on the bottom, work my way up because I think if I start on top, it's gonna be really difficult to section at that point. I'm pretty sure that's what Brad says to do. And also, this is not bleach. This is just me depositing color. So I think um, I think I'll be okay. Just need them to be out of the way. It doesn't have to look pretty. Okay, we can look a little bit better than that though. Hold on. I'm actually not that nervous. I was more nervous to mix the color, but the whole process is kind of fun. Um, I'm gonna actually put a mirror behind me. So hold on one second. I think this is gonna help. Okay, cool, I can actually see the back of my hair now. You can kind of see it too. So we're gonna start with these little pieces. I'm probably gonna get it all over my neck too. I'm gonna try my best not to, but I just know it's going to happen. I didn't put Vaseline around my face. I don't know if I should, I guess I have some Vaseline here. I know it's gonna get on my forehead, it's fine. Like. It is what it is. Got my color here. I'm gonna start in the back on the roots and then I'm gonna do smaller sections. So like that, and then work my way down and push it to the back. Get this fully, fully, fully saturated and just spend my time on it. I'm gonna work on this section and play some music and I'll come back to you when this section's done. Okay. I feel like I actually saturated this bottom part really, really well. Oh my gosh, my arm is already like crazy. Okay, it's fine. Now I don't really wanna go, but you don't really wanna stay. Baby, step into my soul, and you can take it away. Now I don't really wanna go, but you don't really wanna stay. My neck, look at it. Oh. I'm very proud of my technique at the moment. I didn't think this would work as well as it is. I'm actually doing good on dye too. I still have quite a bit left. Um, I probably will have to mix up the second bowl, but I think I'll have the perfect amount. The only thing is it just takes me a long time to like apply it. I hope it's okay to sit for a little bit. I'd rather have it sit a little bit longer and be like fully coated than, you know, sit for a shorter amount of time and not be completely done. Kind of using my hand like as a foil and working my way down. My arm looks crazy. I just don't know how to avoid that. Like I'm not a professional. So I just did all of this. Playing with your hair is such like a fun expression and life is like just too short to Not mess with your hair a little bit like why not? It's just hair. It's gonna grow back, you know, like it's just not that serious Like the only time it would maybe be serious is if like it all fell out or something But honestly even bald is kind of like a look and then you could do like wigs and that would be fun too. So there's really no way you can go wrong with your hair. I really like the money pieces look and I almost did it. Also I've been doing like this back and forth motion on my hair and then kind of every once in a while I'll like check the strand. 
I've got a pretty good feeling about this. But yeah, I mean, I could have, like, I could afford going to a salon. This is kind of fun, you know? Like, DIY. Look at my hands, literally. These gloves. Pull this section down. Okay, I'm gonna play some music and fast forward. Okay, we're down to the last section. Everything else has been marinating for a while. I might split this into two, just to ensure I don't miss anything. I am done. I need to take these gloves off and set a timer for 50 minutes and maybe try to get some of this off my face, but here's wrap around. Yeah, these gloves are so messed up. Let me try to wipe my face off so that I don't stain my skin because like, I don't have complete accuracy. Oh, look at this streak I have on my arm, I can't. But this is the aftermath. I have some time, so I'm gonna make a little snack or actually a full-on lunch because I'm really hungry, so let's go. And my camera's about to die, but I'm gonna eat this and then wash my hair. So it's been about 50 minutes. It's time to rinse my hair and then wash it. So I'm gonna rinse it downstairs in our bathtub and then come upstairs. All right guys, I just washed my hair yeah this is it is what it is and i got some on my forehead too in my ears but you know i work from home it's fine um i just put this up and yeah this is what it looks like wet i'm gonna wait for it to dry i fully blow dried and this is the color it's just like very dark brown black and i really love it it turned out perfectly i don't really see any spots that i missed but i wanted to like fully blow out my hair and if you want to know how i do this i have a whole video of it on my channel if you want to check it out but i'm so happy with the color this is exactly what i wanted and it was like 40 dollars overall so damn Okay, these bang ones do not want to come out right now. But yeah, this is the this is the hair. I need to fix the part a little bit, but I love it so much. I hope the back looks good. I don't know. I'm so happy. I spent all day doing this. Arguing again, arguing about something so simple. Make it clear, tell me why you're running back to him. Feeling insecure, feeling like there's more to your character. 